Hello, I'll demonstrate the new possibility for synchronizing information between symbols in the schematic drawings and corresponding devices in the model. MagicAd enables you to connect the schematic drawings from MagicAd Schematics with the ventilation and piping project by linking a symbol in the schematic drawing to the corresponding device in the model. When the schematic drawings and the model are linked, property values can be synchronized between symbols and devices, securing that the information stays up to date throughout the project in diagrams, plan drawings, schedules, etc. You can configure and select properties to be synchronized and also define the direction of the flow of information either from the schematic drawing to the model or vice versa. <clears throat> um, what I have here is, is my model drawing with a few ducts in here and as you can see I already have three uh, flow dampers in there. So what I'll first I'll do is I'll add an additional component here, one of the uh, flow dampers there. Great. And of course, since I just installed it here, it doesn't have an object ID or, or just the basic information, what, what, what we have for it. Uh, let's add a, a dimension text to it. And now what it's showing, it's showing the size and it should also be showing the object ID, but of course I don't have an object ID for it yet. Uh, we'll add that later on through the uh, schematics tools. So um, what we now have to do in order to get the information from the schematic, we need to link the object with the schematic. I'll just open the part properties here and select pick from schematics. Uh, and as you can see, here is my schematic drawings, which is connected to this project. And I'm using a device group of actuators and dampers. Uh, let's go with show only not linked devices. As we can see, there are a quite a lot of the uh, dampers in there on my, my schematic drawing. Um, I could select any one from the list. Uh, but I can also just select an object from, from the drawing like this. I want to select that FD4 there. And as you can see, it's now selected from here. I'll just click OK. And the link is now created. Good. All right. Then uh, let's move on to the Magic and Schematics tab. Uh, the new VMP connection tools are here, map properties, the linking tools, and a link manager. Let's start with the uh, uh, map properties option. Uh, what we first want to do is we want to define what are we actually, how the information is being exchanged between the, the two drawings here. Um, I want to add, a, let's see, from the uh, ventilation piping, I'll go with object ID and here I want to have part ID and those two need to be uh, synchronized between each other so that the uh, uh, information flow is from the schematic into the uh, actual model here so part ID should be copied to the object ID as well click OK now I've defined the uh, property there then uh, as I already have a link, now I'll go to the link manager. And what we see here is, first of all, the drawing, ventilation and piping dot DWG, and I'm looking at flow dampers again. Uh, it's showing me four links in there, and only one of them is red. That indicates that it's different between the two, uh, two drawings there, so I'll just Take show on the different. Okay, and as we can see, the object ID in the model is empty, and in the schematic, the part ID, which should be the same, same one is AHU1 FD4. So let's link that one, and we will use that properties to synchronize. As we click OK, the information is now updated to the model as well. As we can see, the dimension text changed to AHU1 FD4 and then the size. And that is pretty much it. Um, 
there are a lot of functionalities for example if we want to check show unlinked objects in a drawing let's select one of the dampers here yes there we have quite a few of them let's see if i select the zoom all right it's showing me there there i have quite a few of unlinked objects so i could just use the part properties here to pick them from the schematic or i can use the uh, magic at schematic linking tools of, of just selecting a link object and selecting the objects both from the model that i have here and from the schematics